Okay, so this is a dumpster enclosure in Dallas, Texas. When I arrived here, there was a homeless guy named Christian just sitting there. He asked me for some money for lunch and I told him, hey, you help me out and I'll help you out. Honestly, I wanted to buy him a steak dinner. This guy has to be one of the hardest homeless working guys I've ever met. You know, all he wanted was some lunch, but he worked with me and I worked with him. And in the long run, we both got what we needed. I got the dumpsters clean and he got him a steak dinner. Hey guys, I'm just so glad that Christian, the homeless guy, was sitting right there next to the dumpster enclosure when I arrived. He had actually asked me for a couple of bucks and I told him if he helped me out, I'll give him 20. He cleaned out both dumpster enclosures for me, made the job go by in 15 minutes, and I gave him 40 bucks for a steak dinner. Listen, I love working with people and I also love working with my competitors in the area, which are my friends. And I want to thank three companies that are helping me out today. See, uh, the fact is that guys, I hurt my elbow playing competitive volleyball and I'm not able to work and I don't want to make it any worse. I can work actually today, but I don't want to make it any worse. So three companies that are helping me out. First of all, I want to thank Jamon, MJD Junk Removal, who is actually doing four jobs for me today. Uh, homeless encampment, some freezers, a refrigerator in Colony, something in Grapevine. This dude is busting his butt for me. He actually did a job for me with 105, 155 tires yesterday, and today he's helping me out again. But he's not the only person, because I have Jose, and Jose is with DTX Junkaholics. He's helping me do a hot tub removal in Fort Worth, Texas today, and another job in Arlington, Texas. So thanks, Jose, really appreciate it. And last but not least, Jay's. Jay's Junk Removal out of Justin, Texas. He's doing a job at a grapevine for me. He's doing a nice apartment clean out for me. So guys, if you're not working with other junk removal companies across the US, you're not doing it right, because these guys help me finish my job, but also help me make money also. The reason I'm doing this video is because I got the water slide contract. So I hope you enjoy this video. It's uh, one of the best ones that I've had in a while. Uh, it's gonna explain, I'm gonna explain everything to you, so just enjoy it. <laughs> Okay, so this job is in May Pearl, Texas. It's honestly about 45 minutes from Dallas. But the reason I took this job is because the commercial contract I have with the owner of this property, she is a great customer of mine. Now, this job was actually supposed to be done about three months ago, but the deal didn't go through. It was supposed to be a $15,000 job where I was going to hire about seven local junk removal companies to help me out, but it fell through at the last moment and the owner of the property decided not to sell it and remove some of the water slides himself. Then about three months later, he had second thoughts and sold the property to who I work for. And then now she hired me because the owner actually took about 50% of the water slides. And that's where I came in, guys. See, I'm doing this job for half the price of that and I'm gonna get it done in about two days. And that's exactly what it took. So this is the last part of the water slides getting removed because I actually hired Michelle from All Junk Up a local Fort Worth junk removal company to help me out. And she did about 80% of the job and then I went in there and finished the rest. But you know what? It's great having good connections because without her, this job would not have got done. So there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces here. Seven, eight over there. And there's one at the front, nine pieces and it's gonna fit there. What? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm gonna probably have to come back. So I'm gonna try my best to make it all fit. I'm not sure if it's going to fit, but... The job was actually a lot harder than it seems. It doesn't look like it's very difficult, but you have to take in consideration two things. These things are really heavy and the climate out there. It's extremely hot to be outside in that Texas sun. And if that doesn't beat you down, let the bees and the hornets that are inside the slides beat you down because I actually had to leave and go buy some hornet spray and then come back to kill all the hornets and let me complete the job. At first, when I got there, it seemed like it was gonna be little, but then as I started working, that's when I started realizing the job was a lot bigger. And all I had was myself, my truck, and my flatbed trailer that, you know, I got from a So, 
Yeah, it was a lot more difficult than I could handle. out there with nature and the weather I'm going to tell you that was the biggest challenge but overall the job was completed and the owner was completely satisfied so let me explain how this went down money wise so the owner of the property paid me a little over eight thousand dollars to complete the job Michelle from all junked up she is actually the junk removal service that went out there on the weekend when I was on vacation with my wife I paid her $2,000 to complete 80% of the job, and then I went back and removed the nine pieces that had to be done at a price around two to $300. So that took me one day to do. Michelle spent there two days, Saturday and Sunday, to complete that job, and I went there one day to finish the job. So overall, my profit was a little over $5,700 to do the whole job, and you know what? That is good business. Guys, I'm going to tell you, sometimes it's a lot easier to subcontract these jobs and actually go out there and do those jobs. But I also want to thank three companies that are helping me out today because of my elbow problem. I want to thank DTX Junkaholics, Jose Zapata, he's the owner. I want to thank Jay Neff from Jay's Junk Removal out of Fort Worth, Texas for doing the job. And of course, MJD, that is Jamon. Jamon Dupree has been helping me out for the last month for doing just about any job out there that I have overflow of. I want to thank all those three companies for being there for me on a day that I just can't work because of this problem. It sucks. So guys, finishing this video, I want to explain to you that sometimes it does help you and your business to grow and excel by contracting other jobs to other companies. And with that, I'm just going to say, enjoy your weekend and enjoy your day. Do you dream of making more money with your business or creating a business that doesn't rely on you? You're going to solve all of these problems and more at JunkCon 22. You're going to gain something that's going to make you thousands, hundreds of thousands, or maybe even millions of dollars over the years to come. And as of an exclusive deal for fans of Ricardo's content, you're going to be entered into a drawing to win a brand new Sawzall with a full set of Diablo Steel Demon Blades. Click the link in the description to get your tickets now. Y'all are crushing it out there. And Ricardo and myself look forward to seeing you at JunkCon 22.